I like the glasses. I'm recording, right? Yeah, you are. You're recording. Okay, perfect. Hold it. Okay, welcome Emma to English Between with Teacher Amy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy because um, Emma and I have known each other for since when? Since 2019? Two, two years, maybe. 2019, right? Three years. That would be more than two years. <clears throat> yeah, more than two years. Wow. I think so. Yeah, and crazy. also. That is crazy. And also what is also crazy is because Emma is the one who who like is behind the scenes doing a bunch of my stuff. <laughs> so like you are the one who you make these videos for me. You what else I did do. you do? <laughs> what else did you do? You design. You are my boss. You, yeah, kind of, kind of. You're my boss, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So you made my little logo, too, the English Between logo. Did you? Oh, and you made the music that just played. I also did. You are my boss. It's the way it is. You are <laughs> yeah. my boss, for sure. Yeah. I'm so friend. I'm partner, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So Emma has been working with me for a while. We started, so we met in 2019, and then we met as language exchange partners, so as Spanish-English exchange partners, and that was before I even thought about being an English teacher. So I was not an English teacher, but I was helping you with English, even though I didn't know very much about English then, mm -hmm. right? But, but you were a professor yeah, before, so, right? Did he? Where I, was, I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was a literature teacher. Yeah. But like before I made that transition to English teacher. Mm -hmm. So you were like my first English student too. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, for yeah. Sure, yes. Okay. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about, um, well, I want to hear a little bit about you and your, how you were how you learned English before me, maybe. And also, I want to hear about, um, I want to talk about language partners a lot. Like, I want to talk about some of the strategies we've used, um, strategies that have worked for you because you have more experience with language partners and that kind of stuff. Okay. Sound good? Okay, let's do it. Should I start? Okay. No, so I'm going to ask you. So, okay, ask me. Tell ask us me. first, where are you? Where do you live? Where are you? What do you do? And all of that basic stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I am from Costa Rica in the Central America. Of those who doesn't know where it is, you know, because sometimes those who they don't know. Of those who don't know, because sometimes they confuse it with Puerto Rico. But Puerto Rico is in a, it's another country. Costa Rica is in the center of America. So we are Americans too, right? That's important. Mm -hmm. And also, well, I am a musician. I am percussionist, a drummer. I'm also a graphic designer, as she said. I am behind all the image, the videos, the design and all that behind uh, English Between with Teacher Amy. I edit and behind my Spanish too. I'm behind <laughs> her Spanish too. Yeah. So um when so when did you start learning English? Okay, my story with English is that I always liked the language, you know? Always, always I really liked the language. When I was, I don't know, a teenager, I used to listen to all the music and you know the lyrics. I think most of the people start when when they are like listening to music, right? Uh, then I studied like one year in a very in a, in a company called Intensa. That was very intense, though. Intensa. Intensa, yeah. It's like it, you you can speak uh, you could speak English in two years because it was very intense. It was from 
7 to oh. 9 p.m. So after work, I used to go there, you know, for a year. I did, I've never heard that story. Well, that's the, my story with English, you know. <laughs> then I stopped there. And then I used Wait, to... how old were you with Intensa? How old were you? I was like 19, probably or 20. Okay. Yeah. So then I stopped there. I stopped talking to, you know, people in English. And then, uh, like, I don't know, maybe six years ago, I started um, again with English because it's right now for me, it's, well, I think for not for everyone, but most of the people, it's like, uh, it's opportunity is like to open to a new world is to it's it's important because most of the things on the internet is you know all of those things are mm -hmm. so it's like really important yeah so uh, i started learning again yeah i i went to i don't remember the apps right now but definitely one of the most important uh, app was hello talk and I met a lot of Yeah, that's where we that. met. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's um I started right there and then I mean I met a lot of people. I started learning Russian too. Uh -huh. which it was like a very huge challenge for me because we almost never hear uh, Russian right here because it, what happened with English is that it's very common, you know, the lyrics, the, the songs, uh, you know, we are right. very familiar, we're very influenced by uh, the music, the art in, in the, of the United States, so the things like that. But with Russia, we are totally separated. I mean, we are, we are different, but not only that, our ears are not used to hear that language so it's yeah. totally different. yeah totally different. actually actually this morning just this morning so i've learned to say good morning in everyone's language in my in-person uh -huh. class you know what do you learn today? and i have two i have two students who speak russian and so um who are, are native russian, russian speakers um one is from ukraine and the other one is from belarus um okay. And they speak Russian as a as a language. And so um, I was trying this morning to learn how to say how are you. And literally, do you know how to say how are you in Russian? You could say kakdila. Kakdila, right? Kakdila. Kakdila. And so when I was trying to learn. Kakdila. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I'm teaching Russian. This, if no, if anyone who actually speaks Russian is watching this, I apologize. <laughs> I yeah. apologize. But I no, think that the, the word it. hello or hola or hi or whatever is like the toughest because it's Straswiti. You is know, it? Straswiti, something like what that. Is it? Something like Straswiti. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. I'm. <laughs> This is why we're learning Spanish and English together. <laughs> but no, like I was trying to learn the formal way to say, how are you this morning? There's like a more formal way. And I, I listened to it maybe 20 times and it it was just not coming out of my mouth. What I told you, I can't even what say What I told it. you was the informal way. Cagdila. Okay. What's up? Yeah, the one I don't okay. remember. I mean, it's really tough for us, you know. It's really, really tough. Yeah, it is hard. So I stopped. It's hard. Continue with my um, story of with my journey. I stopped, you know, right there. I stopped. Okay. And then, um, I don't know. I met a lot of people, and there, there was a time when I met you that I said, "Okay, man, I am stuck on this. I need someone to really. I'm going straight. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck." You are always my teacher. Stuck. You are always correcting me. Stuck. Stopped. Well, you hate it if I don't. Yeah. No, no, no. Perfect, perfect. So then I met you and I went straight and I asked you, hey, what do I mean? Like the first week, 
we chat something, I told, hey, do you want to mm -hmm. see? I think that's the way I, I ask you, right? Do you want to see yeah. my partner on this? And we started, and I don't know if you stopped talking to other people, but I did that. You know, I stopped mm -hmm. talking to other people because it was like a waste of time. And, and I said, okay, I'm with Amy. And we started a amazing journey. I'm very yeah journey yeah i'm still yeah, learning. definitely i don't yeah. feel totally confident when i'm speaking but i have right now i have my teacher on live on internet correct me <laughs> yeah but it doesn't matter yeah. well so so um yeah so i wanted to ask so 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 people know um, the idea behind finding a language exchange partner is to have something that's free and that's something that you can both benefit. So mm -hmm. because an app like Hello Talk, you are learning English. I was learning Spanish. I am learning Spanish. Um, and so we connected because we had because we were native speakers and we wanted to learn the target language of the other, you know, we wanted to learn the other person's language. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great way to, to both benefit, to keep learning and not have to pay anybody. Sure. <laughs> and so, so yeah, what are some of, so what are, yeah, I guess my question would be why, yeah, what do you think are some of the the pitfalls or some of the are, the say traps, it again, say the it pit, again. yeah the pitfalls or the traps kind of like what are the some things that really hurt when you're trying to find a language like what what kind of advice would you give for someone who's looking to find a language partner because you have had a lot more than me so. What are some you, things that you can get distracted to happen? You can get distracted very easily. I think mm -hmm. that's important. Uh, what do you mean distracted? Like the, you just start talking kind of stuff, about. I mean, suddenly. Well, I mean, I think there's something nice when you're sharing with someone else because you're knowing their cultures, right? Um, you're learning their cultures. Yeah. Yeah, you're learning their cultures. Their culture, sorry, but also. Um, I think that suddenly you start having like a relationship with that person beyond the exchange, you know, mm -hmm. because you get to know them. Yeah, because you are now knowing them, but also because it's very familiar. So you stop learning because you are always like, Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, how was your day? You know, like very familiar and daily basics uh, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So you stop. And that's what we try not to do. I don't know if yeah. you remember that, that we said, okay, let's talk today about adjectives. Let's learn adjectives. And that was really important because yeah. we were like two weeks or three weeks learning different uh, adjectives. You know, um, I think, or, or then we, we decided to, okay, let's practice these kind of expressions or even jokes or even things like that, you know, because if not. Yeah, I wrote a list, actually. I was thinking before we sat down to talk, I wrote a list of things that I could remember that we have tried and done uh -huh, for learning. For sure, for sure. Because so, it's yeah, very easy, it's what I was wanna... telling you, it's very easy to stop learning because you stop have you, you start having a conversation a relationship with someone that it's like your i don't know your mom your sister your partner what's up uh, how do you uh, wake up how do you sleep uh, uh, do you feel all right you know like very yeah. normal vocabulary and we yeah. start learning so i think that what we did was very yeah. very fantastic because we really took seriously these things about okay we're gonna learn i mean we are still learning and as i said i don't feel i think yeah. i i need a lot of uh, vocabulary expression phrasal verbs um but at least i can communicate right now much better yeah. than before oh yeah definitely and yeah that was i know when i was i mean i wasn't looking for so you have said that one thing that was so basically to summarize what you just said 
um, that it's really easy to get into the same conversations, exactly. into the same with someone, um, and then you you start using the same vocabulary and not expanding. That's something that I found too in the short time that I was looking because I found we found each other pretty early. I think I was only looking for a few months or a couple of months before we started, um, you know, doing our exchange. And so um, what I found was, yeah, it was like when I was trying to find a partner, I would say, oh, hey, how are you? Why are you learning English? Yeah, the same um, What do you do for work? And so what was nice about our agreement and our situation, our partnership, is that because we we said we said at the beginning, like you asked me, you said, let's, you know, will you be my conversation partner? Let's do it. Let's learn. We had a schedule. We had things to do. Um, I think that really helped. Yeah. I think that so, was because I was kind of tired, you know, because for people. I was kind of tired yeah. doing exactly the same thing all over and over because it's like okay, yeah, we have to think, we have to think also the fact that you have to approach a girl, you know, and say, "Hey, how are you?" Like mm -hmm. always with the same questions, you know, and you have to start over and over with the same questions, not with that person because that's the only way you can speak, right? But I think definitely yeah. helped the, my experience, my journey that I was like tired and I, I, I ask you straight, you know, let, do you really want to learn? Let's do it. That was very helpful. I also wanted to, so yeah, as part of this, I also wanted to talk about some of the things, give some people some ideas of things that have worked since we've been doing this for so long. Um, things that have worked for us when it comes to conversations, uh, conversation partners, and what has, we just talked about what doesn't work, but maybe just giving some ideas of things that we do or have done that really, we really saw progress and that we really enjoyed. Um, so I have a list, if you don't remember, but. Uh, so okay, 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 okay. I'll ask you. So I'll ask Definitely you, to what schedule. Is the I mean, schedule, okay. Yeah, totally, totally. I mean, it's really important. And if you can do it daily, that would be better for sure. Yep, yep. So having a schedule saying, okay, can you, can we work together at this time or this day or this many? hours yeah it's or, like, yeah, like, like going that. to the university i have english class at 12 my time from 12 to yeah. 1 or something like that that will definitely yeah. help yeah um something else i was thinking about that we did a lot that i think was helpful is for a long time we did a lot of writing right yes i remember um we we had we had a google doc we had Google Docs. We had a very Docs nice strategy. I know we had. It was very organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, really did. And because yeah, that's yeah, important. Had, that's important because that's that could be very helpful. People who will uh, see this is the fact that we really create a document on Google, and we were always yeah writing stories. I think we had like Friday stories or Friday writing. Yeah, there Something was like that. It was a specific it day. Yeah, it changed. Um, but there was a time when we had okay, this day we work on this, this day we work on this. You know, we exactly. had a schedule. We had a schedule. We um, had a schedule. We had lists, we had yeah, we had all sorts of stuff. <laughs> yeah, the the we had lists, we are right. Had, yeah. We had lists and lists and lists. So one thing we did would was um, we would have okay we're working on phrasal verbs or we're working on um, adjectives we want to learn a hundred adjectives this month and we would choose them and then we would write with them we would write with them um, then we would go and translate the other person's yeah that's important too that's that's really important 
Should I tell them or you should tell them? Maybe your English is better. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But I mean, no, it's, it's I really important. To, it's really important that they, I mean, that they can see different ways, creative ways to use if they find a partner, which was, for example, to make or to do a, what's this? Anyway, uh, to do a document on Google Docs. Make a document. <laughs> to make a document, you know, <laughs> and then to make some writings and then to translate the other one, which means that, okay, the things that you wrote in Spanish, I will write it, rewrite it in English, which is very nice. And it's very, yeah. very, very important because it's totally different. You know, the way the English, yeah. The, 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 yeah. the flows is totally different. The words they use, sometimes you, you cannot translate uh, literally. You know, you have to go like more into, okay, how would, do, would they say this? with yeah. the slang words or things like that once we 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 were practicing slang words remember too it's like a slang it's, words yeah we were practicing slang it's like a long journey almost like a like a, a spiritual path you know to learn a, another language i mean it's hard it's really it is hard. And yeah. it's crazy it was, because for yeah, example i have really fun no i have we were when we no, what I want to tell you is that there are people close to me that they worked on uh, multinational companies. They work, uh, they have worked right there for many years and they are still uh, paying for courses to have a better speaking skill. You know, because yeah. it, or actually once I heard from teacher Amy, that is the last, a skill you will achieve yeah usually it's the hardest yeah usually it's the hardest for people um yeah so i i love that when we were talking about you're talking about how we used to yeah we used to translate but we also were very careful about when we translated to really try to start thinking in the other language to start thinking exactly. okay exactly. but what would a What would an English speaker say? What would a Spanish speaker say in this case? Yeah, I remember that. Um, of course, that's writing skill. We also did a lot of speaking stuff and we, we tried quite a few things. Um, I wrote down, sometimes we would say, okay, we're talking about cars or we're talking about- We read together, Amy. I, I'm not there yet. Hold on. We're not there yet. I have that written down too. Hold on. Hold But I just on. remember that it, we even read together. Like, oh my oh, gosh. Like, okay. and, and, and we started uh, okay. writing down all okay. the new words. You were okay. reading the we book did. in Spanish. Okay. And I was first... reading the book in English. I mean, I. <laughs> This is the issue. I know. This is I know. the issue. Most people. Most people I bring on to my interview are like, what is she going to ask me next? And I was like, well, I'm going to come because we're used to talking to each other. Yeah, it's very normal. <laughs> it's very normal. Yeah, so um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so we would say, oh, let's talk about cars. Oh, let's talk about, I don't know, going shopping i don't know we had lots of different topics and sometimes it was something with our lives like there was a point where you were getting you were you bought a new car and that was really exciting for you to get the new car and so for a day that was on your mind and so for a day we just talked about cars you know weeks, um, <laughs> well we always we tried to review too but yeah And we've also tried um, pictures. We've used pictures. We tried to pictures inspire. too. Right. Yeah, we use pictures. That was very nice. But writing yeah, I think, and conversation. Sorry. sorry, teacher Amy. I think it's important that to explain the people who really are into this is to help maybe to give them a, a, a way. Uh, and, and yeah, 
how we work with them. That it was that, okay, we downloaded, yeah. we chose some pictures, and then we decided, okay, let's describe this picture. And that was exactly. Really, that was really and we also cool. wrote, we wrote stories, like what's happening in this picture. Yeah, okay. we did that. Um, and, oh, I even remember we, once we did a, like a Pictionary game. Do you remember that? Like, it was like a Pictionary, you know, Pictionary? What did we do? I'm trying to remember where we drew pictures of something. Like we drew pictures in like a notebook with pen, you know? Do you remember that game? I was, <laughs> we did was something. Oh my gosh, what was it? Yes, it was, was it with you. I, maybe we only did it once or twice. I just remember because it was so funny. It was like we had some vocab and I literally took like, a note piece of paper and I drew like a cave and I don't know I don't remember but we did some remember. that's something you can do it was fun you don't remember it no, was fun um another thing we did yeah okay we'll, we'll go to the reading now we worked with songs to remember uh, yeah we did songs we translated songs yeah and we practiced yeah. To listen to uh, songs and then practice listening to. We practiced listening. Thank you. We practiced listening to. Yeah. Songs. That was very nice. Yep. Actually, yeah. One, did, remember, I remember the, the deer? Remember the deer? The song deer. Oh, yeah. It was like a merengue. That was hilarious. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah, we had, there was some funny ones we did. I don't, we did, yeah, we did a lot of that. Sometimes, sometimes you would just, because you're a musician, so you would show a song and say, okay, Amy, what did he say? <laughs> Remember did that? Did like that, really? Say, okay, what did he say? No, it wasn't exactly like that. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, you would, <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like, yeah, what does he? What did he say? And you go back and go back again until I understood. Um, yeah, I remember doing that. What else? So let's what? talk about reading, because okay, let's talk about readings. Yeah, reading. I already spoiled it. The reading was, spoiled it. I know you did. You spoiled it. Yeah, perfect, perfect use. Okay. Yeah, we also read. We read a whole book together. Los Cuatro Acuerdos, Los cu right? Four Agreements, yeah, an amazing book. The Four Agreements. Important book, for sure. That was really nice. Um, we read... Eso de Miguel, we would... that's from Miguel Bay, or from? I don't know. The author, I we'll mean. We'll show you... a picture of it. We'll show a picture Miguel, of it. It's Miguel... Eh... I don't remember. I se me fue el nombre, but I... I... I lost it. It's supposed to speak English. You'll okay, video editor, Mr. Video Editor, you can okay. put a picture here, okay? Ah yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna okay, write you for put sure. a picture I'm here. Write um, for sure. Yeah. So but with the reading, what we did was yeah, it was really nice because we found some we found readings that weren't too hard for us that we could understand. Mm -hmm. We were able to practice pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Um and we were also able to stop and talk about the book. So because we were both reading it, we were able to, um, to have conversations about the book. So that was also a great conversation starter. And it was nice because like I said, we met, we met, I know. So we met like, we met in 2019. I had been a literature teacher um i wasn't going to be i hadn't decided to become an english teacher yet but you were also we were also partners while i was learning to be an english teacher so at the same time like we were you when we're talking about kind of taking advantage of the daily life and things that are happening i was also able to use that a little bit and i learned a lot i was your My your your, your gonna be you're gonna pig? Guinea pig. Guinea, Guinea pig. pig. 
<laughs> yeah. Yep, I was here getting. Do you remember that word in Spanish? It's with rabbit. Conejo de. And a country too. Conejillo de Indias. Conejito. Conejillo. De Indias. Conejillo, Conejillo de Indias. A guinea pig. Conejillo de Indias. Once okay. we learned that expression, remember? That was one of them, yeah. That was fun. All right. Well, is there anything else we should talk about when it comes to language partners that would be helpful? I think we've, I think basically we said a lot of good stuff like, you know, try to find someone who, you know, try to, to make an agreement where you say, okay, we're going to actually learn. Um, I think that schedule. that's, that's the main, that's the most important thing you can do if you really want to learn. It's go straight and ask someone that you feel or that you think that you can see that maybe you could have some kind of connection you will understand pretty well and go straight and say, hey, do you really want to be my my partner in this exchange? Because I don't want to waste time with other people. Because as we said, it's always asking, how are you? You know, and there are many things. Yeah. That, it's, it's easier, faster, um, funnier for sure. Funnier and funner. Yeah. Funnier and funner, yeah. <laughs> yeah important okay you're right well thank you emma for you're welcome teacher amy you're and facing welcome. and facing the camera with me and um sharing some of our our uh our uh experiences in learning and also thank you for being my employee <laughs> You're not my employee. <laughs> thank you for being I'm my your employee. employee. Thank you for yeah. Thank you for everything that you've done for my You're wonderful welcome. music, my wonderful visuals, these videos. Uh, Just not the thumbnails. We no. didn't. <laughs> I don't do the thumbnails. Like, no. It's the like, video I do. I'm, I was like, I will not take credit for that trash. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said it. That's no, what no. you were thinking. No, no, no. That's what just... you were thinking. No, I was thinking about that. I mean, just we have to be clear things that I do and things that I don't. No, no, but you're welcome, Amy. Thank you so much. Okay, what else do you not do? You do not do pleasure. my TikTok videos. You do not do my inst let's make a list. No, 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 really, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I really enjoy a lot for me. Uh, it's a pleasure to to have you as one of my favorite clients for sure, because I do a lot of stuff for you for you. Yeah. And I work on this. I mean, uh, with identities, with brands. Um it's it's very nice. And you are a nice yeah. boss. You are a nice boss. So thank you very much. Okay. All right. You're welcome. And yeah, if anyone's interested in hiring this 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 guy right here, huh? your email is always if anyone is interested in hiring this guy to do yes, something, for sure. your email is in my description every single video. Really? I didn't know that. No. Yeah, it is. It's on That's it's awesome. in my description. Yep. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. Are we done? Bye. Yep. That's all. Bye bye. So turn off the, turn off the <laughs> Remember, in that case, oh my God, I wasn't I mean, recording, Amy. Yes, you were.